If you go through the migration process and are coming across any problems or errors, I'm going to troubleshoot a few of the more common ones here. First off, if you don't see any of your site's content and it still looks like your fresh new Drupal installation, that means there was a problem importing your database. Basically, it means your database did not get imported. So you want to go through that process again of importing your database. If you have multiple databases like I have, you also want to make sure you imported your existing database into the correct new database. If you have your content, but you're missing only your images, that means there was a problem when we moved over our site's default files directory to the new location. Remember, in the file system, once we installed our fresh Drupal installation, and then we removed modules, profiles, and themes and uploaded our existing versions of those folders, we also did so with site's default files. Make sure you don't try to do this with the entire site's directory or with the entire default directory, just files. This is the folder that contains your site's images. So if everything's working except for your images, there was a problem when you tried uploading your previously existing files directory. If you're getting an error that looks like this, this usually means that your site's file system is having trouble connecting to the database. If this happens after you migrate a website, that usually means that you accidentally kept the old version of your site's settings.php file from the old location and you're trying to use that at the new location, most of the time that's not gonna work. If you go to your file system, here's the root of your site. Here, if you go to sites default, you'll have settings.php here. You can edit that, I've already got mine pulled up. If you scroll all the way to the bottom here, you'll see your database connection information. Here's the name of your database. Here's the user that your site is connecting as, and here's that user's password, which I've blanked out just for the purposes of this tutorial, you'll actually see your real password here. Make sure this is the correct information for your new location of your website. If it's not, you probably accidentally copied over the old version of your site's settings.php file. If that's the case, you may need to start over from scratch, or you can try just entering the connection information for your new location. If instead of that error, you're getting something that looks like this, or if your website looks like this, you have a problem with your .htaccess file. Usually, the source of this problem is, if we go back to public HTML, the root of your site, you have .htaccess. Let's edit this and take a look at it. If we scroll down to our rewrite base directive right here, if your site is not in a subdirectory, in other words, our site is at our domain, it's not at our domain slash something. If this is the case, as it is with most sites, you wanna make sure that this line is still commented out. If this was a directive that you had to use on the old version of your site, but not anymore, you may have accidentally kept it, and you need to get rid of that simply by commenting this line out. Usually, this line on this file looks like this. Drupal here is an example of a subdirectory. This hash sign comments this out so it doesn't actually use this line. But if you delete the hash symbol, then it starts using this, and it tries to look for things at your domain slash whatever you have written right here. So make sure that either that's commented out or if your site is in a subdirectory, make sure you have the right subdirectory listed here. If I save those changes and refresh, the site will work once again. Finally, if any of your modules or themes aren't working, for instance, if you had a theme installed on your site, we did not do that for this tutorial, but if you did and the theme wasn't showing up, first check appearance, scroll down and see if the theme is available to install and set as default, same thing for modules. If you have a module that's not working, if you go to extend, scroll down and see if your module is listed here. If it is listed but it's not enabled, simply enable it and click install. In this version, we did the migration properly, so devel and devel generate are installed and enabled as they should be. But if you don't see the modules here, 
or if you don't see your theme listed under Appearance, then that means if we go back to our file system one last time, go to the root, that means there was a problem uploading either your modules or themes folder. And you'll just need to go back and make sure that you do that properly. You should be able to keep everything as is if you did everything else correct. And just remove the version that's here and try uploading your themes or modules directory again. That's all for this tutorial. Hopefully this gives you a good idea of how to migrate a site from one location to another. There are several different ways that you can approach this process. There are different ways that you can upload the file system and keep the right files there and move the right things around. I did what tends to work best for me and what seems to be the most straightforward way to do things. But this is a complicated process, so as always, make sure you back up your site before you do this and always go through this process slowly and carefully.